Hi, you guys. This is LT Tarot about to do Taurus's love reading for July. How does that sound, guys? I hope it sounds amazing. Well, I'm horse. Um, I don't know how I got horse. I know I got a summer cold, and now I'm horse, horse, you know. But it is what it is. I wanted to make sure I got all my readings done today. I have about five more of my love readings to do and then I'm gonna do retrograde readings I don't know how long I'm gonna make those readings but yeah I have a lot of stuff I need to do but if you've made it 45 seconds in this video go ahead and give me a like go ahead and give me a heart for a comment you know and um go ahead and subscribe to the family so um, I have a few church announcements. I only have one church announcement, actually. The church announcement I have is like, are you guys interested in doing like a spiritual group where, um, we'll be all together and you can actually get free tarot readings, get free, um, you know, have a partner that, um, uh, with your spiritual, um, journey. Also, like, basically just having, like, you know, having that someone to help you, like a community to help you grow. If you have lessons, you have things, like, if you found something interesting and you want to post it and see if someone knows anything or can guide you uh, further, like, that's pretty much what, um, what my community will be. If that's something that you would be interested in, go ahead and leave a comment or send me an email. It would be better if you send me an email, but some people like to just comment on here so do what you feel is best um but if you send me an email i can keep up with all the uh, updates and stuff so i'm gonna do one more shuffle and then we're gonna jump right into this love reading baby i think one more <laughs> all right this is a good one all right Oh, you got the Empress. I love this card. You're giving birth to something. So it's like you're focusing on your dreams. You're focusing on nurturing someone. It's like maybe you're pregnant. Maybe you're thinking about kids. Maybe you're taking care of your kids. Um, but that card is such a beautiful card. It's like basically like Mother Nature. Um, you're giving birth. It's telling me that you need to have strength. So, maybe you feel like you're alone. Um, you're not really finding the way out. Maybe you just gave birth to a child and you're not, you're looking for love, but you're not really finding um, a way out of this situation. Um, you could also um, just need to release any harsh judgments. Just kind of, kind of like, you know, keep pushing forward. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, cause the strength card is the Leo card. Um, I've been dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius. Two of water. So, I'm, so basically what I'm seeing is that there's need to be a lot of forgiveness in this relationship. I feel like, um, this is somebody that you've recently had a child with. Um, it's like you want to uh, move forward. I do see this like, relationship will move forward. Um, but there's a lot of forgiveness that needs to work. Um, you, you know, there's a lot of forgiveness here. Um, there will be a positive resolution of a conflict. But you definitely need to forgive. Um, you have to forgive. Because if you don't forgive and you keep um, throwing up stuff, then you're not going to get anywhere. You have the high priestess. And it's telling me that you need to have more patience. You know, you feel, you, things may be feeling like it's unknown right now. But you need to con uh, carefully consider what you want before acting. You need to listen to your intuition. Um, trust yourself. Meditate. Um, I see that you're about to have a lot of options come your way. Um, so you're definitely going to have a lot of people coming after you. You just kind of need to, um, but you need to do more research. Like I said, you need to listen to your intuition and consider what you want before acting because there are people that's going to come your way um, and that's going to want to be with you. But in order to get to that point, you need to 
figure out what you want first. You need to gather your strength. The next thing is the seven of, uh, I mean, six of air. So there, is, you are in a difficult situation. You may be taking a trip. You may, your partner may live far away from you. You may be traveling to them. Um, you may meet your partner on a trip. Um, this new partner. So you have a lot of, um, you got the Empress and the Queen of Earth. And the Empress and the uh, Queen of Earth are very similar. Mother Earth type uh, personalities, very thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. So you have to work on that. You know, and I think that's where it's telling you to embody that personality. Um, you know, show that, show that, show that um, personality, show the Empress personality, show the Queen of Earth personality of uh, being Mother Nature being a nurturer, giving birth to your dreams, ha living in this lavish abundance, uh, abundance, just enjoying your life, but doing it and enjoying it in a sensible approach. You have the six of earth. So someone's going to be giving you a lot of gifts of time. Somebody's going to be kind of splurging on you a little bit. Um, you could be splurging on somebody, but you have a lot of new opportunities coming your way. You have people knocking at your door or about to be knocking on at your door the um, night of water so you do have someone that you're falling in love with um you know it could be some wedding proposals coming your way um you also need to find a way to balance your emotions in order to get to this point and then you have the dreamer so you and that's your outcome you need to take a leap of faith um, you know, basically take a leap of faith to get a lot of unexpected opportunities. And then we're going to do my romance angel cards and see what's coming up here. I am shuffling this. Um, go ahead and give me a like. Send me a, uh, Give me a positive comment and subscribe to the page. <laughs> okay, one more shuffle. First thing first, you have romantic feelings for somebody. Uh, your feelings are worth uh, are real and worth exploring. It's telling you that you deserve love, so you are lovable. So maybe you're feeling like at this time in your life that you are not lovable. You have a, a lot of passion for this new person. You know, you're, allow your heart to sing um, and your soul, I'm sorry, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You need to work on having a heart to heart conversation. Um, you know, honestly discuss your feelings. You need to be more open. If you don't know what you, um, how you feel unless you say it. You're having a reconciliation with someone, so someone from your past is returning to your life. It is Mercury, uh, Mercury retrograde, so we'll find out a little bit more about that. There is new love. Someone has, um, new person has stirred your romantic feelings, so I do feel like there's a new person that, um, that has stirred your, um, your feelings, and I feel like. You're going to have some choices to make because I told you that's what it is. Um, so you have choices. You're like a Leo because Leo kind of got this. But you got choices to make because you have people coming in trying to show you love. Like you're definitely lovable. You have options this month. <clears throat> religious factors. So your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You need to work on expressing your love to the person that you love. Um, so go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You're in the stage where you're getting to know each other. So as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. Let's see what our outcome is. And you need to let your friends help. So... Um, yeah, Tauruses, this is your love reading. 
So if you want to know how your partner feels, um, any blocks and things you need to work on, you can um, go on my website and get the uh, you and purchase the extended. Um, but that's all I have for you guys. If you made it this far, 10 minutes and 10 seconds, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you next time.